Mr. Andrews, Minister. Thank you, Bernard. <clears throat> ah, Alex. Hello, Jim. How are you? Sit down, won't you? Thank you. <clears throat> now, what can I do for you? Well, I... I need your help. Mm -hmm. I've come across a fascinating story. Do you realise that your government is about to hand over £40 million worth of housing, building and harbour installations and an airstrip to a private developer for nothing? £40 million? You're having me on. No, Scout's honour. <laughs> <laughs> well, why tell me? I didn't do it, did I? No. no. <laughs> it, it goes back a long way. About 30 years ago, the Ministry of Defence took out a lease on a Scottish island. They put up billets and married quarters, HQ block and the harbour and the airstrip. And now the lease has expired, it reverts to the original owner. He's opening up an instant holiday camp. Yachting marinas, chalets, staff quarters, it's all there. He's going to make a fortune. But he can't do that. I mean, the law says he must... I don't know. Apply... You're talking about uh, English law. This contract was made under Scottish law and some idiot didn't realise the difference. Mm. Oh. We're in the clear. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Even the male can't blame you for a cock-up in the early 50s. <laughs> Makes a change. <laughs> but what do you want from me? You've got your story. 30 years late, of course. I see you're as quick with the news as ever. Still not bad for Fleet Street. <laughs> yes, we're running it tomorrow, but my editor wants me to do an investigative feature, find out exactly how it happened, go through the files. Why? Well, there could be lessons for today, and we might find out who is responsible. Well, does it matter? I mean, a detail like that would have been handled by quite a junior official. Yes, but that was 30 years ago. I mean, today he could be in a very important position. He could even be a permanent secretary running a great department, responsible for spending billions of pounds of public money. Pretty unlikely. Yes. But can I see the papers? Well, of course, you know I can't just hand files over. But in any case, didn't you say it was a 30-year lease? Oh. You could get them all yourself from the public records office in a few weeks' time, under the 30-year rule. Yes, I thought you'd say that. Yes, that's true. But I want to guarantee that I will get them. But all of them. Well, of course, defence papers No, 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 come on. This is not top security. Now, look, you made a manifesto commitment saying that you would tell the voters the facts. This is a test case, right? <laughs> I want your guarantee that no papers will be removed from the file before the file is opened. Yes, yes, of course. I don't see why not. Yeah, no skin off my nose. Is that a promise? Sure. I mean, a, a real promise, not the sort you put in your manifestos. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, Alex? You won't take yes for an answer. <laughs> Otherwise, we do the feature about ministers ratting on manifestos. 